Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So some updates. This is gonna be the last video filmed in my current office. It'll be the last video where I feel like I have to shout because there's more space in my new office so I can have a bit more, yeah, area. Also, um, at the moment I have neighbors either side who are quite loud and it means that I find myself shouting to make sure you hear me and not them. In my new office, I won't have to do that. So this is, I say so a lot. I noticed that I was on Instagram and every new clip on my Insta story was me going, so. So <laughs> this is a brand overview um, and I'm actually gonna do five. So it could be like Faye five stroke brand overview because do you know what, let me just get comfy. Oh, sit on the old leg. Um, and I, I think it's quite fitting that this is the video I'm gonna finish in this office or this is the last video I will film in this office. Hmm because it is with a brand that was one of the very first brands I spoke about on the blog, and that is Emma Hardy. So, oh, I don't know where to start. Emma Hardy has been doing facials for 21 years. Since she launched her brand, I mean, I've been raving about one product in particular, which we no surprise to those of you who have read the blog for seven and a half years or watch videos. Um, she has expanded her range, but not Oh, not unconsiderably, as in she still puts thought into everything that comes out. She hasn't bombarded the market with 4,000 serums and 3,000 different types of moisturizer. It's still quite a nice, neat, tight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah, there's still, you could still almost count the skews on two hands, which I appreciate because I think there is, at the moment, there's a lot of pressure on brands to keep up and to keep their retail shelving space. And they do that by bringing out new products constantly. And does it mean you need them? No. So let's crack on with Emma. I'm gonna try and keep this short and spiky instead of long and too chilled, as we know I am more than capable of doing. Obviously, number one, if you take nothing away from this video other than to go out and get yourself this product, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. This is the Moringa Balm Cleanser. Looks like that. And actually, some of you haven't seen this is what it looks like. I have used more tubs of this over the last few years than easily, there I am, easily than any other cleanser on the market. I love it. I don't know if there's anything to be said that hasn't been said by me 4,000 times. However, it is nourishing, it is soothing, it is calming, it destroys your makeup. I first championed this as an alternative to the sort of iconic, Eve Lom cleanser because the Eve Lom traditional cleanser is a mineral oil base and this one is not. Um, however, it very soon became far more than that. It is in my arsenal. I travel with it because there's a travel size that actually, I'm not going to show you what these are, but they're kind of in between these two smaller sizes. Um, and it's a no brainer. If in doubt, I will always grab a Moringa Balm cleanser. Um, it's suitable for all skin types, all ages. You can use it first cleanse, second cleanse, morning cleanse. Um, I'm very excited because when I told them I was gonna be filming a video, they sent me a new one because I, my old one looks quite, you know, when you use a cleanser for a good two, three months, it gets a bit haggard. So I'm gonna take this one home and use it tonight. Um, so yeah, I can't even, there are no more forming words other than it's bloody brilliant to talk about that cleanser. So let's talk about things that you may not be that aware of. Now I've tried to limit it to only four other products. So it's gonna be four and another extra. It's just hard, isn't it? This is actually new, but if you watch my vlogs, you will have seen Emma doing this on me like four weeks ago, something like that. This is the Lift and Sculpt Firming Neck Treatment. Now it looks like this. What is great is that everything is in one bottle, including the applicator. So there's a roller here. Da -da -da. You twist it, oh, that is so satisfying. Can you hear that? Twist it to turn it on. Squeeze it so you get a bit of product out. And once you see the product has arrived, let's do a demo. You apply literally, and you can put a bit more cream if you want, if you're dry, actually I need a bit of help from the mirror. But I would get the product on and then use the roller. And you can use the roller without squeezing so it becomes a tool as well as, I'm not gonna do a full treatment because I don't want it to get all over my hair. I am gonna be a bit vain. But you give a little squeeze and then you roll it. And the reason you roll it here is for the lymph. So, 
Oh. And you can do that all over the neck. You can do it this way. But when I spoke to Emma, her main concern was that you, you people get the message, which is on the packaging, that it is lifting and firming, but it is perfect for this area to massage the lymph and to help drain away puffiness and lush. Love it. Job well done. And also, you see, again, going back to the whole not releasing 25 products a year just to keep shelf space. I'm always asked about neck treatments and my I have a similar reply to things about toners and mists. Yes, of course, if you want to, you can take your serums and creams down there, but some people have more of a problem area with their neck than anywhere else in their body, and that is what they're obsessed with. So it is good that there are good products out there that are trying to take into account, trying to take that into account. Yeah, I need more tea, I haven't had enough today. Let's move on to number three. Now this is, um, Actually, funnily enough, going back to the conversation about mists and sprays, it is absolutely a step that um, some of you will choose for whatever reason to skip. However, it is also a step that once you start, you don't want to stop. This is Plump and Glow Hydrating Facial Mist. It looks like that. It is in a long, lovely tube. You give it a shake. It's loaded with hyaluronic acid. And then this, what I love about this, you know how sometimes I've said in blog posts, the spray mist is almost like a jet stream. Let me see if you can get this on camera, watch. Oh, look, it's literally, you can't even see it. It's such a mist. Now, not only is this a lovely hyaluronic acid mix, but it has things like aloe vera and watermelon and soothing, yada, yada. I love it because it travels well. Not many mists. Um, exist that you can chuck in your bag and they stay that way. Obviously you could use a tin, but then the tin's quite big. This is perfect for chucking in your bag, traveling with it. It's 90 mil. It's, you're gonna get it on an airplane. They're not gonna take it off you. Here's the thing. Obviously, if you are on a budget and you are worried about, you're worried enough about buying a decent serum, never mind a mist, fine. If you are a woman of a certain age who gets hot on occasion, you might find something like that indispensable. So cleanse, neck, mist. I have, to, I have to say, when I was choosing sort of my fave fives to put down, I didn't go for the ones I instinctively thought I would go for, which was surprising to me. There we go. Um, I have three left. I'm only supposed to have two left, but I'm gonna put two as one. Next up is the SPF. Now, this is Protect and Prime SPF 30. It looks like this, okay? Here's what you need to know. Let me just do a little live demo for you there. It is SPF 30, but I want you to watch how light and how much it absorbs. You will not get any ash. It's not full of zinc, so you can use this any ethnicity. It doesn't take that long to massage in, it's just that I like doing it. <laughs> it does not smell like an SPF, which means it does have fragrance in, just so you're forewarned, however, it is such a beautiful face cream that if you wanted to, i.e. if you're someone who generally is fairly oily and you don't want to use a moisturiser with an SPF on top, which is how I generally recommend you use things, this is perfectly fine to use as a moisturiser with the SPF included because the main part about it is the SPF. It's hydrating, but it's not sticky, it's not clammy. So depending on your skin type and your age and where you live, obviously, you would do skin, serum, cleanse, acid, spritz, serum. Now, if I was somewhere really hot, I could easily just put this on and go. In London, however, I would still do my moisturizer and put this on top, but it is super light and the SPF 30 is gonna keep you protected. Again, depends where you are and the SPF is a whole other story. There are tons of SPF videos on my links and my channel so go and have a look at those but it is a really nice spf product you get glow you don't get ash compare and contrast no sort of distinctive whiteness just a really nice product now here are the two that i couldn't decide between they're both serums and obviously it will depend on your lifestyle and whether or not you are 20 or 50 or you live in a, in a city or you work from home that depends totally on you and yes of course I'm cheating by using two but it's my channel I'll do what I bloody well like so vitamin c intensive daily serum looks like that and then the Midas touch serum 
looks like that. Let me see if I can get that writing. Maybe you can just see it there if I don't move. Okay, let's do vitamin C first. So obviously vitamin C is more, for me, it's more lifestyle led and more, um, slightly more pigmentation led. So if you live in an inner city, you work in the office, you travel to work on the train or you drive and you're around pollution and you're just out and about, vitamin C is the way to go. If you are not 25 anymore and you're more worried about signs of aging, then you would be Midas Touch. I will show you the difference. Here is vitamin C and obviously it is encapsulated and it's in, oh, it's time release and airtight. So you don't have to worry about any oxidization. Super light, that is already, oh God, oh. Now, don't get me wrong, it does not smell like fake oranges. It just has a good, it just has a good fresh ingredient smell. I know that is the weirdest thing I've ever said and I'm aware that I'm talking to you with my hands, but I just want you to see that it's not sticky, da da da. Midas Touch is still also time release, also airtight, but this one you pump the end, so you pump and it releases smaller amounts because this one is more expensive and you, it's more active and you don't want to be using tons of it. Well, you don't if you're me anyway. And that's gone on top of the SPF, but you still, no stickiness, nothing grim. Ooh, little dance. Um, so again, that depends entirely on your lifestyle, your age, how you want to rock and roll. Can we, I'm just gonna do some honorable mentions because I feel like if I don't, I wouldn't be properly giving you all the information. So, oh, I don't care. I'm just gonna show you everything. Now, the eye cream looks like that. This is a lush eye cream if your main concern is fine lines and wrinkles. If your main concern isn't fine lines and wrinkles, then you might find that there is something, it's basically if you're younger, if you're a bit older, I'm just going to take a little out so you can see. It is rich, but it's not thick. Let's put it on a different part of my body, shall we? That, when you have what I call tight eye, i.e. you think, oh God, I just want something a bit more nourishing, is lush. It's enough, but it's not too greasy. Mm. These, have been out since the beginning. They used to be sold in a pack with the cleanser and now you can buy them on their own or again in the pack. So this is the rosehip exfoliating seeds. They look like that. Now, not everybody, I'm aware, <laughs> not everybody can use acid. If you can't use acid, you literally, there's holes here, you tap them into the palm of your hand, you can mix them with the cleanser and then you do a gentle exfoliation. I'm not gonna get them out because they will be all over my hands and I won't be able to continue filming, but super, super gentle, granular exfoliation. So if you are someone who wants a scrub without tearing your face apart, they are beautiful and gentle and they get the job done. So do you know what? I've literally nearly gone through the whole bloody range anyway, I might as well show you. Um, okay, one, I'm gonna do one more. And then obviously I'll link to Emma's website below and you can have a look for yourself. This is age support face cream. It looks like this. Again, I just want you to see all of these products. You can tell by, let's see, you won't even be able to see. It's just a beautifully, can you see anything in there? I will prove that there's some in there. There, if I put my hand there, you can see, there you go. This one, now the clue is in the name people, age support. You don't need it if you're 15, you don't need it maybe even if you're 25, but if you're not and you have maybe liked the cleanser in the market for a new moisturiser, it might be worth looking at. It is really light, but it's really nourishing and hydrating. It is, doesn't clog your pores. Um, nothing in the range is mineral oil. Emma doesn't like it. Um, she hates it almost as much as I do. Um, if you love it, absolutely fine by the way, just as an aside, crack on. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, but there's no need to sort of, you know, start the whole conversation again in the comments just because some of us don't. Um, let's stop there. I think I've actually covered nearly everything, but little recap. Emma, been doing her facials for 21 years. Um, I've been talking about the products since they launched. Well, actually that's not true. Since my blog launched. Um, cleansing balm just has to be done. The neck treatment, I'm still in the process of testing, but so far I am loving and I love the innovation. 
for plump and glow which I like the twist there because I like plump and go plump and glow um, travels well remember it travels well SPF no ash left over uh, the vitamin C serum if your lifestyle is more about protection from free radicals the Midas touch if you want protection from saggy baggy and then these sort of three add-ons that I said I wasn't going to talk about but I did the rose hip seeds to give them a bit of a exfoliation if you're not big on acid age support face cream and the eye cream now that is very brief I will jump on the comments below and I will ask Emma's team if they can answer any questions you might have um, I do have a list of other people you have asked me to cover um, so I think I will maybe I'll do a little poll just to make it easier for you to get some through in a hurry I am definitely doing things like Tata um, Tata PTR there's a whole list but that will be next week in my new office I'm so excited thank you for watching thank you Emma for being the absolute marvel with your hands that you are I will obviously put links below to where you can find Emma's facialists and Emma herself um, and I look forward to seeing you next week from my new office and 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 I think we're good let's go before I start talking about other products see you soon